And today we're going to remove the buffer tube on a JG M4A1. Now this isn't just necessarily with this M4. It usually works with any M4 if you have a retractable stock like this. This is a six position, basically pretty normal stock. Okay. So now what you want to do first is you want to get it to its position all the way on the back. And then you want to pull down on this as hard as you can and then pull Okay, I don't want to use two hands, so put, pull it down, and then pull off the stock. And it should just come off like this. And now, you have this. And so now you're going to need a screwdriver. And you want a long one, because you'll see whenever I open it up. But there's a little screw right there and you're going to want to remove that. And just screw it off. Uh, take it out. And then you want to pop this off. And the mine's metal. Yours might not be. But if you have a metal buffer tube, that's that tells that you that it probably isn't going to wear down. And the reason that you need a long screwdriver like this is, I don't know if you guys can see, but all the way down there, the little black dot, that's a screw. And now you're going to have to get this long screwdriver all the way down there and unscrew that. This one's a little bit longer to unscrew. And you know that it's loose if you can turn over your gun and it falls right out. Like that. So what comes out is the long screw, you can see threads, and this little metal piece. At least on my JG. And now you don't want to unscrew it or anything, you just want to pull as hard as you can. Like that. And if you've done it um, a couple more times, this will come off easier. But then, now, you're stuck with this. And now if you're putting on a sling, um, a sling attachment, like it goes like this. You guys hopefully know what I'm talking about. But like that, then that's where you can put it. Either you can put it on top of this. Um, you can put the sling mount on top of this. Or you can take this off and then put the sling mount. Either way, it isn't really going to make a difference. The only difference is you might be able to see this little hole, but shouldn't do. Oh mean anything. But yeah, so then just to reassemble it, do everything backwards, get your buffer, tu buffer tube, put it right back on. Then you're going to get your screw and a little metal piece. And you want to put that in there. And then you're going to want to drop it so that it's just like that. And screw it in. Like I said, it might take a while. But, um. Do, 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 do. Hold on, you guys. Get back. Wow. Okay. So this is back on. Screw it in there. Ain't going nowhere. I'm going to take this little metal part, put it right back on, and then you want to get a little screw and screw it in when, when you, where you took it out. And then just screw it in. Let's tight. 
then you want to get your stock and also if you just take this off then you can get a crane stock if you need to whatever and then you're going to want to pull on this like whenever you're taking it off and to put it back on so stick it on there and it should be staying like this because it's take it off and then you're going to pull like this and then push it back on might have to pat it and then you're back on and then it's not going anywhere Ox in the on your adjustments. So it's all good. So yeah, just a quick little video. I wanted to show you guys about that. Um, I might get a crane stock for this gun. I'm not sure yet. Thinking about it. Crane stock was a lot more comfortable for a cheek rest, I'm thinking. So yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time.